Hey everybody, my name is Crypto. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. This time, no mods whatsoever. Well, except for graphical mods, obviously. The usual colored stuff. And this time, Tank and I are going to embark on a journey with the Death or Dishonor expansion pack. And we're going to play as Jugoslavia, which is me, as you can see, and Romania, which is Tank. Say hello. Hello. That was a long intro. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. <laughs> no Bandolin this time. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. But well, he's busy with real life stuff, so he said, go ahead and do one without me, which is what we're doing. Yeah, because we had to keep rescheduling and he got um, upset and he was thinking he might annoy us, annoy us with that, so he decided to skip this yeah, one. Yeah, he, he was the reason for all the <clears throat> rescheduling. But yeah, no, 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 that happens. Well, it's okay. Not completely. One one reschedule was on my part, but yeah, still, well, you know, I understand. You just had the perfect it's... chance to drop it all off on Bendy. <laughs> you blew it. I'm not that mean. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'd say uh, since we're playing on speed one currently, let's just you know start the game so that the okay. AI can do stuff. We'll group uh, up all our things. Um, probably. I love this new air first. interface. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh yeah. I talked about that in my single player already. He is beautiful. It's good. I have a navy. <laughs> I also have a navy of four ships. I have a light cruiser and a destroyer and four submarines. Now that's gorgeous. Unfortunately, I, this, this weird plane overlay doesn't go away when you select the navy, so now I have both on screen. That's interesting. That needs to be fixed. Mm, I already trashed my uh, wings for some yeah, additional I just did. power. And then I clicked on the navy, so I had mm. both on screen. For Always reason. good. Um, 26k manpower is not much. We start with the usual research. Oh, which is both three things. Uh, let's see what we have here. That's combat with 18. That's not bad. That's nothing. That's even less. And that's at least a tank. Well, one. <laughs> Alright, how many of those do we have? One. I'm delighted. Um, all the rest is gonna go horses for now. Because I can. Yes, please. We're gonna train up more of those. Since that worked so nicely the last time. We have three factories. Wow! Do I have any support equipment on these ones? Four. No. no. Up this one? Here. No. You guys? Yeah. I don't need those. I'm gonna keep. These. More civilian factories, and then oh, I click well, next. I got seven military factories and two dockyards, uh, which is actually pretty nice. I'm actually going to trash you already. Sounds just awesome. Gonna get some convoy ships in and drop running. One more here, and one more here. King's Tankowski Mistresses. Battalion. I guess that's tanks. <laughs> The King Mistresses purchases a villa. This doesn't make any sense to have infantry in here. Yeah, you have that issue in Romania that you have a king that's really using all of the government funds to buy whatever he wants. Alright, let's put in a national focus here. I'm going to recognize the Soviet Union straight away because I'm going to become communist. Just because. Uh, damn it! <laughs> Why does what? she have to buy a villa? That's, that's, just that's how fun. it works. That's oh, um, I have superior firepower doctrine. That's good. That's a good start. Some do from usual some stuff. Room. Nope. Cancel. Yep. Okay, oh, I'm not one. gonna import any steel. Otherwise, I have no factories left. I did start, however, with the institution institute royal dictatorship. That sounds good. Next one will probably be um, Balkans dominance. Or no, actually, next one will be. Um, Re revise the constitution, which gives me a little bit more manpower. Because I need to get up to 400k in the field, and at the moment I'm up to 251k in the field. Yeah, you need to do stuff. Mm -hmm. Because we want to get Bulgaria out of the game as quickly as possible. Yeah, nobody knows All why. All I need the factory is actually. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What's the Soviet Union doing? The Great Purge already. Germans are going with the Reichsautobahn and the Italians are going with war logistics in Ethiopia. By the way, I was talking about that in my single player, this red dotted line in America. It, everything in between is no man's land, meaning 
the troops actually don't venture in there. So if you want to go from here, from what's the town's name, from Dakar up to that has no name, that has no name. To Casablanca, you have to go all the way around here, through along the coast, cut through to about here, Ethiopia, and then go back up and all around because you cannot cross through no man's land. Yeah, so which makes awesome. sense. It's just a huge desert. Yeah, there's nothing you can do there. No supply, no nothing. Um, I was hoping they implement the same in Siberia, but they didn't. It's just Africa. There is a mod out there for the version before Death or Dishonor, where you had the same in. Um, around Alaska and the northern parts of Canada, you had in Siberia, in France, and I think there were one or two more regions, like, yeah, Australia, for example. I was the, going the to big say blob Australia, in the probably. middle, uh, which is also just, you know, no man's land. Um, I'm thinking about Maybe installing in that US for future places. Maybe in the Mojave Desert somewhere? Could be. It might be. I don't know. Might I haven't be. played it yet, and I, I do want to, but they first need to update it. I don't know if they have already. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't even known that there was a mod like that, but... Maybe for no, something for the future. Uh, by the way, are you up and running so far so we can go to speed 3 or 4? No. <laughs> no. Good. Yeah, that's good. That's I'm why still I asked. working on it. I'm, I'm looking what I what I need to do. I have no factories. Well, three military, one naval dockyard, and uh, 16 civilian. That's not too bad. Mm. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Patrolling in the bulk. Oops. That doesn't look too good. Patrolling in the Black this Sea. This. And probably this, and then we're gonna go this and this and this. My four destroyers are patrolling the Black Sea for the moment. Like that. And I think I'm about ready to go, yeah. I'm sure Alright, I do have a navy. Ha! Huh? How many ships do you have in your navy? Six. Well, and I always navy. left click when I right click, when I should right click. That's. Nah. Ah, same right. happens to me. Don't sweat about it. Stupid neighbor base. Stupid so, neighbor base. Yeah. Slightly less stupid neighbor base. Gorgeous. All right. So um, we can go. Want to ramp it up to three or four? Let's try four for a bit. All right. Until I start to lag behind, or you? Well, actually, probably you because I'm hosting this times. So. Yeah, which <laughs> makes me lag when you don't, you know, upload as fast as you should. True. All right, so but just to have a look what we could do here. I'm not doing the Western Focus, which would align me with the Axis or the Allies, because it doesn't give me much. I get a war goal against Bulgaria, and I get Central Macedonia, which is Greece, or I get Italy. Uh, if I go down the recognized the Soviet Union route, I can actually form my own faction and invite Bulgaria and Albania. I also get... 2% recruitable population. That's as far as I've looked. I mean, this, this tree is huge. That's mm -hmm. ships, that's army, that's air force, that's industry. And this is all political stuff. Do need to get the industry running. Uh, you oh, yeah. have the yeah. most interesting tree there in terms of getting a faction for the two of us. Yep, I can get that with this national focus. I can start the faction already with the Balkans dominance. And I could also get a war goal on Yugoslavia. Well, actually, Romania demands a radical re reorganization. Uh, Sounds good. Whatever that means. But Demand I'm not going to things. do that, of course. But I get the puppet focus on Bulgaria. I get secure Greece and secure the Bosporus, which is Turkey. Yeah, and I can align that. Hungary and split the Czechoslovakia with the Germans. Well, I can offer to split. Uh, the Germans still can refuse that if they want to. But for all that, I need at least 400 or 500k manpower deployed in the field. And I'm not there yet. So that's mm -hmm. why I start with the Institute Royal Dictatorship and then I revise the constitution, which gives me at least 1% more population. And I then could also change to... Nope, I can't. That needs to be a world tension of 25. I could get rid of the negative trade here. King Carol's... Carol, the King Carl Second's <laughs> lifestyle. Yeah, that's hard to you say. You get it done. Supplementary budget. 20% of the factories are used for consumer goods just because my mistress had to buy herself a villa. Yeah, that's how it works. My leader sucks. Well, actually, my king sucks. The leader actually is not the king oh, shown here. Oh, well. Hmm. I'm nearly done with the national focus already, actually. 
45, 55 out of 70 days, so I can get the more popular uh, recruitable population faster, which would help. Oh, no, they go. Of course, I'm so short on everything, which is a bit sucky. Just testing the AI here. Good. If you do a spearhead attack, they only go where that spearhead attack is going to take place, even if you have a way larger front line. So I have half of it uh, not covered. But if you put in a regular attack, even if you don't assign anybody, they start spreading out. Uh, yeah, that was before, no, wasn't it? That's interesting, definitely. Well, I could Display give like is. half the army the order to Better do a spearhead attack. Yeah. That doesn't matter. All right, so that's good. Now, obviously, <laughs> the issue I can run into here is Italy, which usually gets a claim on Yugoslavia rather uh, quickly. Really? I think they, they need, like, two foci to get that done if they wanted to, and we're playing non-historical AI, so that might be interesting. I am recognizing the Soviet Union. Look at that. Yep, they go for the naval stuff. Uh, the Germans go for the war in land. Yeah, obviously. Civil war in Spain, 1% world tension, I will not be able to send any. time. Yeah, no, me neither. I'm still non-aligned, and that will take a while. Send volunteers, no, 40% world tension needed. Well, yeah, currently. Or, or using the focus tree for stuff like but that. But since you're non-aligned as well, I mean, if you switch to communism or fascism, you don't need 40%. Oh, okay. Carl is now actually the leader because I installed the dictatorship. Interesting. Which got rid of... Damn it. <laughs> which got actually rid of something that was good. Well, I don't yeah. remember which tree it was, but... Oh, well. Uh, that's how it went. Well, you lost 5% national unity. That's what it says. Yeah, that as well, yeah. And neutral foreign policy. Oh, yeah. But you do get some stuff there, that's nice. So are you going appoint Soviet-friendly government? I should probably go that route, yeah. Yeah, it would be nice if you do Balkans dominance somewhere okay, in between I'm so no we can longer create a faction. suffering from the Willa purchase, which is nice. Mm, straight away, straight away. Go. I think we are going to war rather soon. No, we are not. No. World not that soon, things. actually. Well, I mean, the, the focus tree on area but i need a couple more hundred manpower for that yeah hungary is what i'm going for but i only have nineteen thousand manpower currently i, I need to yeah, work on that nineteen thousand five hundred, and i still need a hundred and forty nine thousand man in the field let's see what the national focus does one percent more gives me well actually there we go um limited oh. conscription there we go 200k oh, i have so many things that increase costs Mobilization law cost plus 25% due to Macedonian opposition. How do I get rid of that? Um, that should be enough. Actually, you should spawn there. right on the border here. Croatian, Macedonian, and Slovene nationalism. What are those? Production efficiency growth minus 10%. I'll All costs plus 25%. So I should technically save up on my points and then spend it later. Costs tend to remove, damn it. That would mean instead of doing four, I could do five at the same time. That's cool. I need tungsten and steel. Let's try to get a little bit of steel from the Soviet Union. Soviet general staff. Does Maybe that change tungsten. anywhere? as well from the Soviet Union, all right? Federal Defense Council, defense plus 10, military leader cost minus 50%, that's cool. That's all of those, I hope. Who do I have? Miultin Nidic, army offense expert, army defense expert, which is his brother from the looks of it. <laughs> <laughs> army moral expert, oh, I like that. Moral is good, recovery rate is uber. Army drill. No. Logistics. Attrition. That's okay. 16th of December. That's good. That's Not crap. Equipment. I don't even have enough equipment so to trade. Three. Yeah, same That's issue. Good. Minus 14,000 infantry equipment. Well, I Minus redesigned 20. everybody into horse divisions. And they take twice the amount of guns. Remanual the of the Rhineland. 
There we go. I uh, can't do that because, well, tension isn't high enough. I could fortify the borders. That doesn't help me right now. Uh, that reduces the wartime goal stuff for me. But I have to actually do that to start to get better infrastructure and factories and stuff. I see. Now, do I want the retention? Or do I want the yeah, output? Oh, by the way, Ben, uh, Scriptor, the improved equipment conversion thingy, uh, 1937 in the industry uh, research tab. Yeah. What does that exactly do? Is it just to convert civilian and military factories nope. faster? That's to convert your uh, old tanks into the new model of tanks. It's just for tanks. No, it's it's for anything you produce really well. It's it's tanks, it's mechanized, and I don't know if there's anything else. It might be so fighters as well. So it's not for weapons and artillery, I guess. Then because that's uh, what nope. I'm doing in my single player playthrough, and I never noticed any difference that it goes nope. faster or that it actually gets converted. You will notice because it gets a special icon once you get there, and I hope okay. I can show that off at some stage. Basically, how this works is um, you research, let's say, one kind of tank. Let me pull up my tanks here. I have the 1918 tank, so if I go 1934 tank and do the first light, and then I do the 1936 tank and do the first light there in that, that time zone, I can take um, always one older model. So I can take the, the light tank directly okay. before this one, or I can take the light tanks I have produced and convert them into the specialized, like tank destroyers. Oh, nice. Okay. So Sorry, you can start. You, you can basically it. start producing a crap ton of light tanks, and then say, you know what? Now I want to diversify. I need tank destroyers. Okay. And instead of producing the tank destroyers from scratch, you convert your old light tanks that you have produced from the same yeah. from the same model, and that will only consume like half the resources and go twice as fast. Really nice. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. It is, but it only works with the model before. So you can't go and say, I have the best light tank, I'm now going to go super heavy. All right, you paused for a reason. Yeah, I, I got to pop up here again. Here, My king is throwing la uh, lavish, lavish parties, or a lavish party. Um, <laughs> just so, because we were discussing about something else, I play again. Uh, I, I now, uh, the king must be allowed to be representative, which costs me again uh, 90 days, 20% factory consumer goods. Or nine per uh, spent ninety political power uh, uh, the gains royal household accounts, which grants consumer goods factories three percent for ninety dance days. So I actually have the uh, the political power. I'm going to do this this time. Sounds good. So I'm, I'm going to save my political power as much as I can because currently everything costs twenty five percent more, Ooh, which okay. basically means instead of doing five advisors, I can only do four or conscription laws or you know trade law or whatever. So I'm, I'm waiting until that is removed and then I'm going to spend all the power straight away. I understand. Well, yep. That makes more sense to me. Currently, I'm training my army to get some army experience. It's probably yeah, not me the too. best idea I had. Is it if the army is even bigger, you get more army experience? I think it's determined by either the amount of divisions or the amount of manpower. I think it's divisions, so it's a little bit cheaty. Uh, you could basically go and say just, okay, one horse per division, make an army of 26 or 28 or whatever, yeah, yeah. and let those run. And that would give you the same as if you had a fully staffed tank division, which would obviously lose more equipment while training and all of that. But of I'm course. not 100% sure if that has been changed, because that, that's a very old information I have there. I would have to look that up myself. Information. Um, let's figure it out. That's... I'm getting 0 0.063 daily. If I rush out this three divisions, which will be added automatically Ooh. to this army and to this training, I get... What was it over here? Less. That's strange. 0 0.06 instead of 6.3. Ah, it's going up again. <laughs> So it doesn't change immediately, it looks like. I'm, I'm not sure. How many men have I got at the fi in, in field yet? So it's just uh, 50,000 more and I'll have the 400k I need to actually declare on. Go for the puppet of, of Bulgaria thingy. So I can race Bulgaria to the ground. But for that you need manpower, right? <clears throat> Yeah, and it's just 50k more, so I'm training those guys. 
Well, as soon as you get your five points, you just add that one person to the division template, and then you should have it. That's a good thing to do That's as well. That's what I usually do. See, I usually, when I play as Germany, I, I pump out a crap ton of small divisions, like horse divisions, with uh, combat with ten. Um, get Poland, get the Benelux before world tension gets too high. Um, I don't know if that's still possible, uh, but it was possible before if you did it right. And um, then once that is done, I'm, I mean in, in the background I'm pumping out as much equipment as I can, and then I just reform them all to, to standard line infantry, and some of them have already been tanks, so they get beefed up as well with all the yeah. experience I get from conquering Poland. It's usually 140-something. And um, then that immediately like triples the manpower I have in the field, and then I can get Austria right away. That's cool. Yep, that works quite nicely. <clears throat> 26k minus. God damn. Because if you train big divisions, it takes longer than training small divisions as far as I know. So these small ones are getting pumped out really, really fast. And then just adding manpower, and there you are. You didn't yeah. spend any time. Well, you need to train them again. And uh, instead of spending the time, you now spend the equipment due to the attrition. But that's pretty much it. You know, it works. It's fine. And we're out of time. I was going to say, you know what else is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, I know. Damn it, that was such a good lead up and you ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you I... know. I, I have a countdown <laughs> running here and that countdown is actually flashing when we reach zero. <laughs> so I, I see that. Mostly I ignore it, though. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So, it's good. Alright, so we got our build-up done. I'm building up to conquer Hungary as fast as I can, because that's the major power in here if Romania is taken care of by tank. Um, I mean, I could go against Romania if I wanted, but nah. <laughs> yeah. Don't have the world tension to do anything straight away. Uh, if we were fascist, I could, you know, just justify straight away. But I'm going communist. We will see how that goes. Let's have a, another quick look. We should be getting some points. Yes, we are. Plus 0.2. We're at 26.8. We started out at 20%. That's good. Well, that's it for today, folks. If you liked the video, like the video. Subscribe for more. Leave a comment if you feel like it. Don't forget to enjoy yourselves. And we see you next time. Yes, we will, hopefully. Bye-bye.